All right, uh, let's get down to business. This is the Cobra LTDX driver. And unlike the other reviews out there, this one is not, let's say, stock off the shelf. It is a custom fit for yours truly, which means I should be dialed in to hit great shots uh, pretty much, well, most of the time. See, just like that. So here I'm rocking the Cobra LTDX driver, which is designed for low spin, medium launch angle, and high forgiveness. Underneath here, we have this power core bar. Now that helps with the low spin and those faster ball speeds that we're looking for. The face has what they call this hot face technology, and that basically stands for, well, nobody really cares. But anyways, what it does do is it helps with those off-center hits to find more distance and find more fairways. They've kind of reshaped a lot of points underneath the backside of the face to help redirect and transfer energy to the ball when you're a little bit off-center. So a lot of technology and science going on, but we just need to know that it hopefully helps us find more fairways more often with more distance, that type of thing. And the LTDX has a single weight in the back, helps with that launch angle, and just provides a good uh, weighting distribution on the club. The top is basically some carbon fiber with a chassis that's a titanium design, basically allows for a much lighter club head so that you can get those faster club head speeds, which would equal more of everything good. We like that. Plus, it has this uh, CNC milled infinity wrap around face. Basically, it just looks super dope as it uh, conforms to the club head and I, I really like it. All right, I know what you're saying. So far, yes, it's all stock, the head, right? I did do a premium upgrade on my own with the Ventus blue shaft. Cobra has a number of upgradable shaft options on their website to choose from. So whatever shaft may fit you or you might like better, check out the site on Cobra or do it on your own. So yes, I'm that guy that totally just pimps out his driver with everything. Or I'm that guy who just gets ripped off at the custom fitting session. But hey, if it performs, then who really cares anyways? And I'll take that performance any day of the week. But hey, we want to know what Trackman tells us about this club with me here in the studio. As you can see, my average club head speed is 104.6. I'm getting an average ball speed of 154.5. My average carry distance is 259 with a 283 total rollout and my average spin rate here in the studio is 2508. All in all these numbers are pretty good for me but most of us don't usually play golf on Trackman indoors. I play here on the golf course so let's see how this bad boy does in real life conditions. The things I'm most concerned about here are look and feel. I, I gotta stare at this thing all day, so it's gotta look good. It's gotta feel good, and it's gotta sound good. I don't want some weird noises going on, and I wanna be able to work it left to right, right to left, hit all the shots I need here in reality land. And some of the things I like are when a 520 yard par five, I have 207 yards left in. You do the math, but I'm hitting a five iron. And another important factor is how bad or good are my miss hits? Pulled this one a little bit, just in the left rough. I like a little miss that's not that bad. hit three drives on this hole. One was right here in the rough. It went perfectly straight from the tee box. 
Perf middle one was perfect. And then I blew one way right, way right. And it is right here, same exact distance as the other two with a super high right fade. Super impressed with the misses getting a lot of distance. And all three of these drives went over 300 yards. Slight breeze, I mean barely. There's not much, as you can tell. The thing is hot, hot face. Playing draws, check. Playing fades, check. My misses are great, check. How does it look? I think it looks beautiful, check. How does it sound? Uh, I actually love the sound, check away. And the feel, feels really, really good. I would say, Cobra, this is your best driver to date. Of all the ones you've made, this is numero uno in my book. Love it. And I know the question you're all dying to know is, will this club stay in my bag? And uh, probability is high. So you have to stay tuned, because I flip flop a lot. And we'll see, but so far, great job. Thanks for watching. Hope this is a helpful video for you. Love you, see you soon. I'll tell you though, when I hit 290 cutters like that, I like it.